Hi, I'm going to teach you a little bit about AutoDraw, an application from Google. AutoDraw is great for people who might not be very um, artistic and they want to illustrate something or create a blueprint of something, or maybe for younger students who um, don't have the skills to draw what they are picturing in their minds, but they want it to look a certain way. In my classroom, I've used AutoDraw for science experiments when they have to draw blueprints to illustrate students' writing before we put it into an app called Book Creator. Um, there's lots of different uses for AutoDraw. So um, over here on the left-hand side, you have your tools. And so this is our little AutoDraw button. Um, you can regularly draw, but it won't pop up other images to put in if you do that. Um, so when you have this AutoDraw selected, um, then all you do is come over here and you'll start to draw whatever you want it to guess. And so one of our most recent uh, science blueprints was creating a garden next to a building and how the shadows would change throughout the year. So the students started with drawing their building and you'll notice it'll start to pop up different things up here and none of those are a building. That's not what I want. So I'm going to see if I continue to draw, if it'll start, ooh, and you can start to see, and I, this looks nothing like what these taller buildings over here look like, but it's similar to what I want. So then I just select it. If I want to change the size, I'll switch over to the select and then I can resize it a little, shrink it down. Um, and uh, yeah. So then now I have my building, and if they're creating a garden next to it, they had to think about how the shadows would change throughout the year. Um, so I would probably have them, you know, put the sun up in the sky. And you just change the color beforehand, but you'll notice it pops up. The first couple ones are different pictures of suns. And then there you go. And again, if you want to resize, you just click on the select and um, move it around. Next, I had them um, draw different little um, beds. And so for that, I just told them, you know, you could just create like a little square and this would be like flower bed one, flower bed two, flower bed three. And then if I wanted to um, uh, like make this look a little different, I can always take this little draw tool and I can go in and draw, maybe make it three have little edges to it on the inside and it wouldn't be perfect by any means. Um, and then if I want to fill the color in the middle, I would just have to pick which color I wanted. So with dirt, I switch to that and then you just click. And now we've got dirt in the middle of our beds. And so there's a great little fill tool that'll do that. Um, for um, students who I had them labeling their flowers, so you can also type so flower bed one. Um, and then this one was full shade. And if I wanted to change the color to that, I would just click on different colors. I go back to my select tool and I can change the size of this. It'll shrink it down, make it big. And so this is our flower bed one full shade. And um, then they had to research flowers that they were going to put in there and draw. Um, but if they do their little auto draw tool, they can just draw a well, flower and I, if you mess up you just click on the uh little select thing and then there's a delete down there and so i'm gonna try again we'll do circle and then um, there we go and so i'm getting different little flowers up here that i can pick from um and so then if i just choose one then i can um Fill the color a different color and then I would just label it so whatever flower they pick for their full shade they would um, select this move it down and then label the flower um, to be whatever type of flower that they're choosing that would be good in full shade and then they would do the same thing for the partial shade when they got finished with their project I had them share it so up here whoop, there we go um, you can download it, you can share, you can um, learn about some different shortcuts, but uh, if I want to have them download it, I'll just download it to a PDF, and then I had them upload it on our um, Schoology site on a description little um, post that I made. Um, so yeah, there's lots of great uses. There's lots of easy ways to for students to use this 
and incorporate it into the classroom.